The Big Hogan area has a lot of history. It used to be used as a gathering for hunters from different tribes, Navajo, Hopi, Wallapai, Paiute. There are artifacts such as arrowhead, broken arrow, tools, broken potteries, petroglyphs that show signs that, that they did camp there. My goal is to raise 40000 for the first phase of the start of Big Hogan Enterprise. The Big Hogan will compose of first Hogan to rent, camping spots, RV spaces, a gallery for jewelry, rugs, pottery, crafts from different tribes, not only Navajo, plus a cafe for traditional food and American food, an amphitheater, which will be a, a shack, what we call a chaha'o, and an information center. The Big Hogan is in a prime spot, located 18 miles west of Cameron, Arizona, and 30 minutes away from the south rim of the Grand Canyon. This would be advantage for a Big Hogan Enterprise because they could take in those tourists who can't find lodging or RV spaces. I'm like a chico, a whole run, whole run, or yeah, a cord. She a standard go, she been a little a has to be to go. A call, ask, 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 Ako Lana Ego Bahana or Eight Edo Ako Consla or Yuchida Yos at the Hovan Davidi Nengi Conas Nalot Ako Nihe Huta Bitania, to Ade Huta, a ten years than it long a bit than he ran there. We can preserve our culture by relearning our language, relearning our tradition, by teaching others. Local schools come and visit and learn more about the Navajo tradition, about the culture, about the language, about how we use the land, how the livestock and the horses are important to us, who we are as Diné people. Right now I work for Peabody Western Coal to make um, ends meet, but I also use it to raise funds for Big Hogan Enterprise. The sooner I find some funding, I could do Big Hogan Enterprise full time.